Hi, welcome back. In order to run the server-side.gen, um, we just need to check something in the settings first. So just coming through and typing in document generation settings. We've got, um, well, we should have an entry here. And you can see server-side.gen is not currently enabled. So we do need to enable it before we can run it. So we'll just click down here and go to edit. And then uh, just select the server site doc gen enabled and then click continue. So that's now ready. So um, just to quickly show you what I've done, um, I'm going to be running a document on the case object. So in Word, I've just come up with a really basic template. All we're getting is the subject, case number, case owner, open date, and a few small fields from there. The idea is that we'll send through the ID and generate this one page document based on that. So um, just coming in now, we've got to set that up. So we'll just type in document template designer and I'll quickly set that up. So new and we'll just call it server side case details. Um, leave it as Microsoft Word. Uh, we're going to have to define our uh, data extract, data wrap to extract, and our uh, transform. Um, we can see that the me mechanism for the generation is client side. You can change it to server side. I have noticed that with other ones that I've done, it really hasn't made a difference, but we'll save it as server side for now. Um, and I'll just go ahead and import that document. And we'll save that. I have gone ahead and also created those data raptors. So I'll just quickly show you what I've done. So I've got my transform doctrine, or where is it? Sorry, it should be case details. There you go. So I've got my case details. I'm just going to tidy up here a little bit, get rid of some of these open things. Yeah. All right. So we've got our extract. And we've also got our transform. Oops. So just to show you, we're going to the case object, we're passing in an ID. And then uh, for our output, um, I'm using the dot notation. So you can see I'm getting the account dot name, which I'm mapping to account name. Uh, same with contacts, so contact.name, getting contact name, and as well with the owner. So I'm actually getting these from multiple objects, but using the dot notation, I'm only extracting from case. And then for my transform, um, I literally have got the exact same field. So uh, coming in, um, whoops, this is not the right one. Let me get the right one there. I've got uh, whatever's coming in input is going out as output. The only difference that I've done here is uh, because I'm in Australia, we've got the date, date, month, month, year, 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 year output. So I've just changed that date output there. That's the only change there. So if I demonstrate an example, um, we'll just come here and let me just go to my case, open this one up and copy that ID. It's actually the same ID in there. So execute. And I'm getting those fields back in there. And then copy that. You can see that the date is um, in that particular format. Coming into my transform and copying that into the input there and execute. It's coming out with the date format that I want. So that's all set up properly. So I can now copy and paste these names into the template. So we've got our extract. So copy that in there. And then our transform will go in there as well. Okay. And we will now activate and save. Right, so if we now go back into our uh, 
got all these things open from last time. Let me close them all again. Let's go into our Omni script. And I'm going to close that because I'm getting confused between the two. And I'm just going to save a copy of this one here. So let's just have a look. No, we'll deactivate that. Actually, I probably could have clicked on new version, but um, yeah, don't worry about deactivating it. So new version, and I'm just going to edit this, and it'll be the sample, but this time it'll be our case details. And save. Just to show you, if you come back in here and refresh, we should now have our case details, one over there. All right, so if we preview... I haven't activated yet, so maybe I'll just activate that first. So just getting that case ID again. And we'll put it in there for our object ID. We'll select word. We've got our different templates. And so we'll select that one. And this is where we have our different service functions. So I haven't set up um, either of the bottom two yet. Um, so we'll select it as the first one. I'm just going to leave the document title as blank. Click on next. And we've got this message that lets us know that the record was created successfully. So if we go into our action debugger, just to show you what's going on here, we have, oh, I can't really see that one, but that is for our template. And then you can see that this is the server side uh, doc generation um, integration procedure. And if you click on request data, you can see the different things that were passed in there. One thing to note is this job ID. So if I copy that job ID and I use inspector, so I'm just going to go to data export. Now I'm just going to have to remember what the actual object is called. I think it's um, document uh, might be this batch process. If not, I'll come back. I've just got fields all over there. Um, and yeah, let's just leave it like that. Okay, it's not the correct one. So I might have to pause this and come back later. It could be that. Yes, okay. So document generation process. Um, that should be the same ID. So I've copied it. Let's just double check. Yes, it is. Um, and then it sort of lets you know um, whether it was successful or not. So you can see that was successful. You can also within Salesforce itself um, go to uh, the actual, let's actually, let me, I know I'm bouncing around here a bit. If you click on the ID over there, you can say view in Salesforce. And it's called a document generation process. And there you can see the status. Now, as for that actual file, it should have attached itself to the case. So if we go back into case, um, and hopefully there is a files related list on here, which there is not. Uh, or oh, actually, no, there it is. It's um, under there in attachments. So you can see in this particular one, it's created both a PDF and a, a Word document. So if I click on the PDF, um, that has now been generated. So we've got all the details that we wanted and that's attached nicely there. So that's just a really quick, basic overview of how to do the server side doc gen. Um, I haven't configured anything. We could eventually pass through the template ID immediately and so forth. Um, in another video, if it's not today, it'll be within the next two weeks. I'll show you how to do the token data one because that's really cool because it allows you to actually send through the JSON from the particular 
uh, OmniScript itself. So that means you can do filtering and whatnot and the uh, end result is you send through the JSON that you want and that will map directly to the document. So stay tuned, that will come soon um, and thanks for watching.